divine masculine and divine feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. So divine masculine, I am here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and getting no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle and lay some cards down just to see what's going on with you. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine masculine. Getting no fit nuts. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Turland. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. All right, Divine Masculine, straight, straight up. Uh, let's get to it, boss. You got West. Amen. Uh, Purge card. I like this card. We haven't gotten this in a long time. But it's West. It says Purge. This says... Whatever, it was a motherfucker too, but let me read it to you, boy. Whatever it is that has been eating away at you, it is now time to get it off your chest. Spit it out and say what you feel. You have a voice, so use it. Problems cannot be solved if nobody is aware of them. If you're in a bad relationship, get out. Make the necessary preparation by telling a close ally. You will get their support and you will find the courage to make your move. If work is the issue, speak to your boss. Give them the opportunity to correct things. If they can't or won't, you can always seek out what, is, what it is you really need to be doing with your life elsewhere. If you have been living by another's rules, religious beliefs, or ways that are not for you, now is the time to explain why you, are, why you, why you will no longer abide. The people who matter and really care will not punish you for being true to yourself, but they will support you in making the changes you need. The spiritual warrior of West now leads the way to help identify, dismantle, and destroy all the habits and beliefs that no longer serve a positive purpose in your world. Ooh, move that over, girl. Determine who was a true friend. Weigh up pros and cons before making a commitment. Someone is sad to have lost your friendship. A relationship is being healed. Decide where your loyalties lie. Be integral in all that you do. Be truthful, consistent, assertive. Be you. Be you, buddy. Oh shit. Who y'all uh leaving and dipping out on? Somebody eating Cheetos, uh, or uh, it's the swirly ones too. I don't know, cheese curls, I don't know, some shit like that. But anyway, that's what this card is, yeah. Came out with the Emperor and the Page of Swords. So that is you, Divine Masculine. Page of Swords. I don't know what you're talking to, what you're talking to. Uh, who, I mean, what you could be looking at, uh, staring at, spying on, learning. This Page of Swords means a lot of things. Came out with the rich girl. Na, 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 na. Right? And then you got Bishop. This is uh, Tupac, but this is Bishop Tupac. So this is all about your moves and who got the juice now, basically. And Brenda got a baby, but shit. Who don't shit now? Uh, a lot of y'all are moving. I see Divine Masculines moving out west or leaving the west. Maybe you're leaving the west coast or coming to the west coast. Uh, one or the other. Maybe you're talk or coming to look. Some of y'all are visiting the West Coast, Divine Masculine, or Divine Masculine's from the West Coast. You could be traveling maybe to New York. Shit, I don't fucking know. Uh, something like that. Shout out to Cali. Shout out to New York. Hey, it's not about East or West, okay? Uh, I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> what the, I guess. I don't know. Where the Biggie card and shit? It ain't out here. Biggie getting ass on a regular basis. Okay. Ooh, divine masculine. Some of y'all are telling somebody, some children possibly, or a woman that they need to cut back on some finances, or you want to uh, invoice I heard. You need a list. You like, uh, I'm going to need to know what is all this being spent on. I don't know who the rich girl is, but it looks like you're not happy. Something with bookkeeping or bills or some shit. Uh, you want a summary or a, a expense report or something, divine masculine. It's something about you uh, counting your finances. I don't know if you feel like somebody has been stealing or if uh, or you find out someone's been stealing and they got to go. You purge their motherfucking ass and shit. Or uh, somebody's like, I feel like 
taking advantage of something, overspending, overusing, <clears throat> like abusing their power, authority, or some shit like that. Or is you. Shit, I see y'all got some good damn taste out here. For sure. This is you. I mean, we're going to talk about you. You coming up as the rich girl and, and the emperor. So you got, boy, don't be uh them some fancy cheese curls you eating. Like, bitch, they imported cheese curls. Like, okay, they Gouda curls. Like, oh, okay, bro. Shit, tell me something. Anyway, divine masculine, I do see you guys talking to your spirit guys when no one else is around, but I mean, shit, it feel like you a little sus too, like, I hope don't nobody hear me talking to these people, I feel like you try to really uh, cover up your spirituality in the next seven days, I don't know why you would want to, but it says that you do, or you're kind of uh, modest, meek about it, they said. Some of you guys uh, see some woman you want to talk. Maybe this is the woman that you want to talk to. You are the emperor. So, I mean, you pulling a rich girl ain't really, you know what I'm saying, that far-fetched. So, maybe this is you talking to somebody that you consider to be, I don't know. or you. I don't know. I hope the emperor ain't looking at somebody for their funds, but he doesn't really need to. But we'll get to it later on, boss, because the rich good gentleman is out here, too. And the rich girl is out here, and the rich good gentleman is reversed. So, I don't know what had happened. Uh, I feel like some woman may be getting y'all for some money, especially if you live in a house with this woman or did own the home, was married, got children, a business or some shit like that. I feel like some of y'all end up paying some woman purge like you just give her the shit. Give her it's cheese curl dust all on the fucking money, but she take it anyway. I don't know, something like that. But if that's not the case, I feel like you could have your eye on someone, page of swords, or you may reach out to someone, send someone a message, uh, finally put something out there, purge card, uh, say, like it says, spit it out. Maybe you say something that you've been wanting to say to somebody for a while, uh, but it's all about your moves. Something about the West Side, G, that's what's up. West Side, West Side, by the way, live forever for love or you can die today. Shout out to Janae Iko. Cause where I'm from, we live for the love, die for the love. Yeah, West Side. We live for the love, die for the love. Yeah, I don't know who you are. Yeah, I live for your love, die for your love. Oh, the one masculine, who is? Now many men, that's my shit. Many, 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 many men. Wish death upon me, have mercy on me. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, I hope that's not true, Divine Masculine, but you are coming up as the emperor. So you probably got some haters out there. Maybe you just get all the baddest broads. Uh, I don't know. You can have your shit together. This group I'm picking up on, uh, you do make moves. King of Wands make moves. Like I said, this is Bishop with the emperor. Yeah, uh, money moves too. So I feel like y'all are trying to keep that in motion and also get rid of some things, people, places, and things that don't, I mean, shit, this feel like money. Uh, so, mm -hmm. like you about your business or something. I mean, not that you shouldn't be divine masculine, but I mean, look how he looked up from his work. Like, why are you bothering me? Like uh, some of y'all work all night, all day, all night. Uh, I don't know if you barely see your kids. She's like, father. Would you like to? He's like, what do you want, Susan? Yeah, something like a. You're probably in a boss mode, divine masculine, in the next seven days. And I feel like if you are looking for a companion, right, this person got to be in boss mode, too, is what I'm picking up on. I don't feel like uh, I feel like they need to have their own money, too. I don't feel like that's like a, the one thing you're looking for, but you would like someone independent. Uh, who can kind of move on their own, too. It's like, I make moves, she make moves. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like you're kind of looking for a partner or you're reminiscing about someone divine masculine. You may want to reach out to someone from the past or just someone, period. Uh, but you're trying to get rid of some things first. You may be, someone may ask for your help monetarily, Divine Masculine, or you feel obligated. Maybe you're getting out of an obligation, a monetary obligation with someone as well. Some of y'all kids is uh, turning uh, of age and shit where you ain't got to pay for them no more, I'm hearing. 
But uh, for a lot of you, I'm picking up someone to ask you for some money. Maybe because they want to move or they want to do something. They get, I will get to why because I see the shit in your spread. But somebody damn sure about to ask you for something. Or you ask the rich girl for something. But I don't feel like if the, if the emperor's asking the rich girl for something here, Divine Masculine, it ain't money, G. This rich girl is going to be rich with something else if that's the case here. That's what I'm feeling here. Like she's rich with something else here is not actual like money because it's the emperor he already has it fuck with me you know i got it he hit you up with the west west y'all so with something else uh if this is in regards to a woman it could be she's wealthy with knowledge healing uh qualities she does something that you can't do or has something you don't have and can't obtain divine masculine if this is a woman if not shit you uh patting some bitch pockets down like bitch where the fuck is the money what have you been buying what have you been doing uh something like that Somebody got an apartment on the west side or something? Or once? I don't know. Something about the west side. They keep saying that, so. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Sorry for sniffing all of y'all shit. It's allergy season, Joe. Divine masculine, my king. Divine feminine, my queen. Queen. Uh, you know, when I do these, uh, readings, I don't call out signs. That shit either resonate or don't resonate. KK. Divine masculine. How you feeling about yourself and the energy you're going to be in for the next seven days? You got Tracy Chapman. Give me one reason to stay here and I'll turn right back around. That's what this card is. It's like the three of cups, but kind of like a begging, pleading ass. Please, mister, please, mister, please. You know what I mean? That type shit. <clears throat> that came out with Stranded. So this kind of feel like that woman I've been telling you about, Johnny, there's a big there's a big demon, Johnny, right? This is this person, okay? Came out with the world. So somebody need a ride, G, period. They stranded. That's pretty much what that said. World card is travel. Uh, mm -hmm. Empress, she need a ride. That's exactly what that card is. Came out with Jimi Hendrix. At first I was like, man, I wonder if he played a guitar. Or the banjo. But with all this Jimmy and being stranded and all this shit, don't nobody pick up no motherfucking banjo player. So they would have to call someone they know. Someone who can appreciate the motherfucking banjo. Because uh, not everybody do. Anyway. You got I'm tired, boss, and I'm done working, boss. When it's upright, this is just I'm tired, boss, but I still got a little oomph in me, right? Reverse is like I ain't got shit, and I'm tired, boss. Shit, I'm done. Uh, that came out with Mermaid's Love. These are like two people about to break up or they from different worlds and just don't see things the same. This is what this card is to me. They totally different. Uh, came out with the Ten of Pentacles. This is my Jewel Beetle card, but this is also the damn Ten of Pentacles. The legacy, the home, the everything, right? Some relationship, uh, marriage, blah, blah, blah. We know the spiel. For those that don't, sorry. Uh, rich good gentleman is reversed. So this could be the poor bad gentleman. But remember, you have the rich girl over here, divine masculine, and your. Excuse me, I don't know why I always get indigestion when I start talking and shit. It's so crazy. Or reading. You got the rich girl over here with the, uh, with your oracle, and then now you the poor bad gentleman. It's like they boyfriend and girlfriend, but somebody got duped. So that's why I kind of feel like over here, you're kind of wondering where your money is or where something is or trying to balance out some funds or something. Because I feel like you take an L with something here. Then you got for dry itchy eyes. This is my uh, Mr. Holland's Opus, Richard Dreyfus, Balky Bartakamus, Cousin Laddie, Perfect Strangers car. I wear my mama's Glendale Community College. Something boring is fucking dry, man. That's what that means. There's too many adjectives for that one car, but that's what it means. Then you got... ROC, we running this rap shit, but it's reverse. So this is, we don't play ball. We don't play ball here. This is not playing games here. Somebody serious here. And then you got Butterfly Garden, which is my back down memory lane. This looks like that old ass picture that everybody mama took or cousin or somebody when they, you know, was graduating in like the 80s and shit with the fake ass fur on. This is what this card is. It's just an old ass picture. Came out with the Six of Pentacles, which was weird because it's a picture on this man's desk. So it was damn show some pictures are going on. Then you got the court. And then you got Elton John, too, which Divine Feminine. You always get something the same, G. Uh, that's rose-colored glasses here. All right. Ah. Yo shit a little busy. 
Uh, generally speaking, divine masculine, like I said earlier, somebody gets stranded. Yo mama, a baby's mama, baby's mama's mama. I don't know if it's divine feminine or some woman that got, I don't know, okay? I don't feel like it's a boss or nothing like that. It's either your mama, your baby's mama. I don't really feel like it's divine feminine. Uh, let's say this is divine feminine, that would be the world card. I feel like whoever this is doesn't want to ask you. So if it is divine feminine, it took a lot out of them to ask. They really need you or your mama does or this baby mama does. Well, they told me to change that. Because somebody played a banjo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody's just... I don't want to say that, spirit guy. So you're going to have to give me another one. Because the banjo don't necessarily mean that. Okay? Uh, somebody's just like Brittany Fetterline, they said. Basically. So this is Brittany Fetterline asking you for a ride. Well, however, whoever your Brittany Fetterline is, Okay? Uh, nothing against Britney Spears or slash Fetterline hyphenated. I don't motherfucking know, right? No disrespect to her, but that's who they said this is calling. Britney Fetterline. Mm -hmm. I feel like she played a banjo the whole motherfucking way, too. I mean, shit. Um, something like that. Some of y'all are, uh, quitting music, Divine Masculine. Are not gonna sing anymore. Or I feel like some band members or some uh, baby mama or some bra get left somewhere, too. For those that are traveling, traveling for some type of entertainment, some broad, you leave this bitch. Or she leave you, but you coming up as the emperor, so I have to assume that you're leaving this person. I feel like that's why, so I wouldn't have to guess back and forth. The emperor don't get left. I mean, and even if he does, he's all right. He has another, he ain't Johnny, he ain't doing all that shit. So I don't feel like this is you. I feel like some woman get left, whether you put her out on the screen, right? Or she, you just get, she get left, period. I feel like some woman can't deal with you leaving, G. Uh, this woman gonna drive by your house and play the banjo. She is what it say. Somebody uh, tries to send someone a playlist. There's a, a woman out here in Divine Masculine that really wants you, buddy. Really. I feel like this woman drive by your house all the time. I feel like this woman calls all the time. This woman gets stuck on purpose or calls about dumb things like, <laughs> guess who got her period? Yeah, shit like that. I don't know why she would call and say that, but I don't know. Something, something weird about some woman out here, man. Uh, she call and say weird ass shit. That's for some of y'all. She's strange, G. Anyway. Uh, I feel like you're trying to slip away from this person. Somebody you're not attracted to anymore or something divine masculine. I don't know. But it looked like you're trying to like, I don't know if she really wants to. I mean, you just look unhappy. Look at the man's face. Like, I'm stuck here. And she's kind of just. I don't know. I feel like she don't really want to be there neither. She's kind of pulling away from you and you look stuck. So, and you know, it's a bird bitch. Look on top of his hat. Like, mm -hmm, I can't really say it's a bird bitch, but look, uh, you like winking and shit, like pointing, like nodding your head up. Like, yeah, I know it's a bird bitch. Uh, but you didn't have chill around with this person, uh, move with this person and did some money, uh, transactions with this person. And it's cost you some money to be with this person. Uh, some of y'all are thinking about not working so you don't have to pay this person. I don't know what that means. Well, how are you going to eat Joe? <laughs> if you don't, I mean, I see, I know what they're trying to say. Uh, cause I know people like this. Like if I quit my job, then they can't take child support. They ignorant. But how you going to eat, too, and live, too? I mean, well, let me shut up. I see it. I don't think that you should do that. But that is what's going on. Uh, regret is, is what this is, Divine Masculine. You trying to slip away from somebody. But, shit, I feel like this person don't want to work on it with your ass, neither. It's, uh, with here, it's over here with the not working on shit, I'm tired, boss card with the mermaid's love. It's two people in this card. And with the Ten of Pentacles, this shit feel mutual. I just feel like you suffer monetarily. This person may suffer emotionally because she kind of has the water energy. You have the pento pentacle energy because you are grounded, which would be pentacles. So uh, I feel like you kind of like this shit ain't working monetarily. She like this shit ain't working emotionally. But I don't feel like you give a fuck about emotions because it's more pentacles. Like, but bitch, it ain't working. Fuck all that. My emotions would be good if the monetary was right, says Divine Masculine. Okay. 
Some of y'all are so tired of working on something divine masculine, you are leaving a home or someone else is leaving a home. This ten of pentacles go down to Richard Dreyfus, which is the five of pentacles. Like, I will wear my mama's Glendale. I will move in with cousin Lottie, bitch. I'm not staying here. Uh, I don't even know him. We perfect strangers and shit, but it's got to be better than this. I don't know. Some of you guys are happy that uh, you are separating from someone, though, Divine Masculine. A rich, good gentleman. Yeah, you may have lost some money, but uh, he don't look like this no more. You see how he all depressed? It's like freedom. You can't buy that shit, happiness, or none of that. So, really, you are happy. You're coming up as the Empress, too. Great happiness. So, you separating from somebody uh, does make you feel better. I feel like you get your mojo back, darling. So, shit, the banjo turned into the guitar. Whatever it is you used to do, you used to go back to doing it. Whatever used to make you feel good just being you that wasn't really tied to anyone else, you go back to doing this shit if you or when you separate. At least this is the energy and how you're feeling in the next seven days. It's a lot of y'all thinking about what you're going to do when you get separated. Look at this shit. Like, hmm, I can't wait to be divorced, separated, or this court shit be over. I am going straight to fill in the blank. You ain't playing neither. Uh, whatever this is that you going after to go get or something when all this shit is done, uh, divorce, separation, like I said, legal issues, some of y'all's just karma and shit. You going to go get whatever it is that you want. Rose colored glasses. I feel like a lot of this feels like indulgence here with this nine of cups and this six of pentacles. Uh, I mean, okay. Some of you guys are saving money, though, too, Divine Masculine, on, like, food, liquor, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, clothes, shoes, shit you don't absolutely need right now. I see y'all cutting back on this shit. That's why she dressed all like this. This is just a hot-ass mess. This ain't the woman that got the stars and the stripes and all her shit all fucked up, but, I mean, she really ain't no better. But I feel like you don't give a shit, <laughs> really. Uh, I feel like a lot of hustle energy out here divine masculine so I feel like you trying to slip away from family shit or I mean and it's not, that sounds bad but I feel like you trying to get a meal ticket or something that's what they're saying like uh you're separating from people families relationships homes uh all this shit and you balancing out like some they said checks and balances Who to keep, who to throw away, they said. Damn. Like you uh, rock and shit, the motherfucking trash man. Uh, that's what they show me, the trash man, rock. I don't know. Then that's got shall get. Ain't that how that went? Then that's not shall lose. Yeah, God bless the child that's got his own divine masculine. I think that was the song for rock, wasn't it? I don't really remember that show too much, but kind of, sort of. Some of y'all are taking somebody to court uh, or you're getting evicted, Divine Masculine, I, or someone is. You have to take someone to court for a home or some property or some shit like that. I kind of feel like you lose, buddy. I do. Crazy shit is, or this has already happened, Divine Masculine. Uh, this woman still ends up needing you. So let's say like you lose the whatever the hell and she gets awarded whatever the hell money home and all this shit. This bra still end up needing you. So it kind of look like she blow through this shit because why she's still stranded. How the that's why I know this ain't divine feminine. No, I don't feel like she called you. I mean, no disrespect, but I feel like she just got. I mean, in her reading, there was a lot of people trying to get her attention. So surely she could find another fucking ride is what I'm saying. This is not her G. This is some woman here with like kids. Or something. Somebody gets stuck at work. And you have to pick them up. And I feel like they talk shit the whole way. Or they whine. Or they just talk the whole way. You ever ride with somebody who just don't know how to like. Just fill out the vibe. Like oh yeah this person ain't in a talking mood. You know what I'm saying. Just let the wind blow and the music play. And shut the fuck up. This is not this person. I don't know who it is. Uh, it could just be a talkative mom. Somebody talks all the way home, all the way to the place, all the way back. They always got some shit to fucking say. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. I feel like you drift off when this person talks. I feel like you drift off a lot from this person. You don't really listen to them. 
And I feel like when you hear them talk, you just stare at them and shit. Whoever this is, you've checked out from them. Everybody's staring. You just stare at someone. Uh, and I feel like it's just because you uh, have nothing to say. It's kind of like you rude, G, to be honest with you, what it feels like. You just won't out. And I feel like you're uh, non-communicative and you don't interact anymore is what they said. Look, how he looking? Everybody looks sad. Or look, Jimmy. <laughs> Richard. Shit, only one smiling is Elton John, and that's when he high or think something is what it ain't and ain't what it is and shit. That's the rose-colored glasses. So, I mean, shit, Divine Masculine, it seems kind of like, yeah, you guys are uh, talking to other people, trying to figure out some av other avenues, streams of income, maybe possibly where else to live, where to go. Some of y'all will leave different states, but this is West Side Connection is what they're saying. So I'm getting the connection. What's the connection, bitch? You looking at it. Uh, so you got shit under your sleeve. Divine masculine. So maybe this woman thinks she's going to leave you stranded. Like, I'm going to take everything from this fucker, right? I'm going to take everything. He ain't going to have shit. Uh, and I feel like they still end up needing you, but I feel like someone's wrong. Uh, if anything, something gets split half and half. Uh, if anything. Like, you could just leave this home, leave everything, and then just let the court handle it. I feel like that's the best avenue, and I feel like you break even with whoever the fuck this person is. Uh, so shit, I don't know. Some shit like that. Y'all reading a little boring, to be honest with you. It's just like, it's the same shit every seven days. I'm tired of this bitch. Real shit. She making me tired. Uh, so I know you tired because you actually have to live here or deal with this shit every day. But this shit boring. Uh, that's what this household is. Ten of Pentacles with Richard Dreyfus, dry itchy eyes, fucking boring. He's bored. Uh, this man is bored. Uh, divine, we're bored. I'm moving on. I'm sorry. It's it's just like <sighs> yeah. It's like you're still stuck in. I mean, some of y'all are stuck in some situation because you're scared that you're gonna lose something. Uh. So you could lie to this person or lie to these people at your job and tell them everything is good or whatever the fuck. But it's you. I don't know. I'm moving on, G. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. It was just, yeah, I'm on them motherfuckers. And it felt like I was in a seminar. Excuse me. I got to go get some water. Shit, and I just never fucking come back because it's that fucking boring. Uh, that's how I feel. Uh so maybe that's how you feel here, wherever this place is. It's just work, home, uh, see how much money out my account today, uh, go pick somebody up from work. They talk the whole motherfucking way home and the whole, it's like, I don't know, like an episode of Rock. That shit was boring as fuck too, like MASH. I go to sleep on that shit every time. As soon as that start, that part, good night. That's how I feel like your uh, reading is, an episode of fucking MASH, or that's your life. Shit. Anyway. Be aware section. And it's not even your life. They told me to rephrase that. It's just whatever that you feel like that about, that's what I'm picking up on. So your life could really be great, but whenever you have to go back to whatever in the fuck this is, this is what you focus, this is like... Shits on the whole rest of the good day. So if like 85% of your day was great and 15% was shitty, that 15% is like a, a strong 15, G, where it like just trumped the whole 85. Like, it feel like that. Be aware. <clears throat> Hello, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Shady. It's so nice to meet you. This is the return of a shady motherfucker. Be aware in the next seven days. It's been a long time. I'm sorry I've been away so long. Whoever that is, I'm telling you, Divine Masculine. I don't know who, if it's you or somebody else. But somebody is uh, coming back to ask for something, right? Be aware if you turn this person down. It's just like the last seven days. They go ham. Ham is in hard as a motherfucker, dude. They do. Somebody come back to start some shit or this is you. Somebody comes back to air somebody's dirty laundry out or somebody's waiting to do this. Be aware. Maybe that's why you stay with this person. It still feels like black. It's the same. Is this a repeat? Shit. 
Uh, yeah, somebody being blackmailed here for money here. Like somebody just has to keep writing somebody checks to keep somebody quiet or somebody wants to keep someone quiet. Divine masculine. So, yeah, they cut checks. Three of swords. Look at the emperor. Mm -hmm. Be aware. I, this is uh, OK. I guess maybe it's for them. Like, just spit it out. Maybe you get tired. Like, fuck it, bitch. Tell them. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, something sealed, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Divine masculine. This is keeping the cookies in the jar. So this is also not having sex with someone. Be aware that someone is going to get upset with you for not giving them what they want. Whether it's that wing wing, uh, some money, something. They want something from you. And if you don't, they threaten you with whatever the fuck this is. This dirty laundry. Well, they shady shit. That's what this is. Be aware you try to keep this person silent again or they try to keep you silent. Somebody does not want something to come out, G. Here. Be aware in the next seven days. I feel like you find out, though. Or they find out. Who's not gang, bitch? Let me find out. Yeah, you're going to find out somebody ain't gang. Oh, shit. Keep hearing clicks when I'm talking on the iPhone. Yeah, somebody phone tapped. Feds in the city hate to see us on the high note. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm hearing some transcripts are sealed too. Uh, something's supposed to be sealed. Some uh, legal records, medical records, something like that. Somebody is threatening to leak some shit, G. Be aware in the next seven days or tell. Some kid may see something. Uh, and they tell somebody or in the kid. I don't know, G. What the fuck y'all got going on here? Yeah. I don't remember this happening in MASH. Anyway, I think it's a woman, though. Uh, put one on the shady. Ace of Cups. That's new love right there. Be aware, Divine Masculine. Shit. I don't like this. Well, shit, I'll put it to you this way. Because sometimes this is hello and goodbye. But I don't like it with airing out dirty laundry and, and shit's coming. And nah, that ain't what the fuck this is. This shady, okay? Be aware of some shady ass love offer, divine masculine, uh, coming. Or be aware of some shady ass love offer that you took or possibly gave to someone. Uh, it's coming back to bite you in the ass, G. That shit ain't for free is what I'm being told. In the next seven days. Some of y'all know, too, are worried about uh, something coming out. What's this dirty laundry shit? We want to know. What is this? Ooh-wee. Somebody going to tell your new booski uh, that you had a, I don't know. It's something that ain't uh, clean in the milk. Seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Uh, I feel like some broad tell some other broad. Tell your friends to get with my friends. Yep, we could be friends. Shit, we could do this every weekend. All right? Is that all right with you? Uh, it was back then. It was cool when they was calling you Big Papa back there. Go, Biggie. Shit, I was like, Biggie was getting ass on it. Did I not say Biggie was getting ass on a regular basis? <laughs> yes. So, that's what this is. Somebody say something. Shit. Uh, they put it out there. And I feel like they tell somebody... Uh, that you possibly want to make something work with or serious with Divine Masculine, if that's the case. Uh, number two, I don't know. Maybe your Divine Feminine could be airing out your dirty laundry. I feel like Divine Masculine, be aware who you trust with information in the next seven days. Especially if it's a lover, this person that... Uh, it's, I don't feel like that's divine feminine, but whoever that person is up there that talked the whole way and back and all this other shit and trying to take shit from you and all that, be aware of confiding in this person uh, anymore. I feel like that whatever you've already told them is a fucking enough, G. It's enough. So somebody is trying to like uh, manipulate somebody to stay with them or some shit. Mm mm mm. I feel like you want to put a, be aware not putting the rest to this shit. I feel like you staying with somebody for something. I don't know what it is, but it's for, mm -hmm. I don't know who your lover is. I was wondering. I was like, it's got to be something like this with two men's or some shit. It's got to be, Joe. 
uh, and that shit came out last seven days with the man with the salmon fucking shirt on. It don't matter what deck I use. Okay. Be aware. Uh, somebody is threatening to tell somebody about some same sex relationship, divine masculine, two menses. And I feel like that's the shit you won't seal. Be aware, divine masculine, uh, or divine feminine for whoever this is for. Be aware. Somebody, uh, got a beard. They with a woman just for show, but they really like menses. Uh, some woman is threatening to tell this shit. I feel like his boyfriend is there at every whatever the fuck event, uh, whatever. But I feel like some man is with a woman, but his boyfriend, some shit like that, man. Somebody threat, or maybe it's the masculine energy. Some man threatening to tell a woman about him and some other, I don't know. Some with your moves here, Bishop, okay? Be aware. Woo. For those of y'all where that ain't going down in funky town, where'd y'all say that was? Fort Worth? Well, maybe that's where this shit happening, okay? I don't know. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, I don't know. Somewhere in motherfucking Texas is where they said this happening, okay? That ain't on the West. Mm. That's the South. You gotta go down. Yeah, somebody got, okay, moving on. Uh, <clears throat> Divine Masculine, be aware of holding on to your information, G. For those where all that other shit ain't happening, right? Which I know a lot of y'all that's not. Be aware of uh, keeping information and things, even your friends, G. Uh, it seemed like somebody, uh, you're my right hand, boom, 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 boom. You're my go-to, boom, 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 boom. Told me everything about you. Yeah, that's a bold move uh, is what I'm saying here. Be aware, Divine Masculine. I feel like somebody close to you, shady as fuck. Uh, it's, they say they love you, but they shady. It's either a lover or a friend. Uh, could be family, but I'm picking up more on a lover. I thought maybe that could have been your mama yapping in the car that just got a lot to say. God bless your mama. But I feel like the person I'm picking up on is a woman or a man that is either a lover, both, or a friend, whatever. Maybe a sibling or some shit. Whoever this is, this person was supposed to protect you or have your back or some shit. Be aware. There's somebody that says they have your back that knows some shit about you that will tell some shit. I feel like you know this already. So you got your guard up. Be aware of having your guard up against new love as well. Aside from this other scenario, be aware. I see new love out here, divine feminine, but you got to be uh, clean with this person. Be aware. Uh, shit. It ain't really clean for her, but it's clean for the most. It's divine. Uh, so really, you got to get clean in front of the most high. You got to go to this school. They wash you down. Wash it down. Right. You get naked. Stand there. They air dry you. You get a uniform. It's, it's a whole process, buddy. Right. Uh, be aware, not knowing you got to go through these steps to get this new love that you want to approach you or that you want to approach in the next seven days. Be aware, some of y'all got some cock blocking ass friend. Some of y'all got somebody around you that's telling you uh, that's trying to keep you from a divine counterpart here. They trying. I don't know why the fuck he wants you so close. Uh, she or whoever the fuck, if it ain't a lover. I mean, if it's a lover, I know why. Uh, Cause they love your ass, but this feel like a cock blocking ass motherfucker that don't want you get no ass, nothing. This is keeping some shit sealed. They want you with them miserable, beat the fuck up when you got a whole divine feminine, divine masculine somewhere. I'm also being told, be aware, divine masculine. Some of you guys have people around you spitting some fucked up shit in your ear about a divine counterpart, a divine feminine specifically. Uh, this is somebody you're supposed to approach or that has approached you or that you, I don't know, some shit like that. But you got a shady ass friend that's like uh, planting seeds, they said, about this person. I feel like they want to fuck this person. Is why they both on the cookies in the jar. So you can have, be aware, you got a friend around you telling you some shit about a bra because, and like it's like uh, something that will turn you off from this person, and then they gonna go try to holler at that bra. Be aware in the next seven days. You got some shady friends, man. Bishop, shit, yeah. They just said Bishop. He fucked all his friends over, didn't he? You saw Juice? Shit. One on a hello, allow me to introduce myself, Ace of Cups. Most likely to make a sex tape with their partner. Divine Feminine got the same shit, G. And I shuffle the fuck out. But you guys always get at least one the same in each row. Yeah, somebody shady. I'm telling you, somebody got pictures, photos, film, uh, messages, email, something divine masculine. Be aware. Be aware what you say to people. People, and it's people close to you. It's either a friend, a lover, or both, G. This friend wouldn't use it against you until you piss them off or kind of cut them off. That's when they'll use it. This lover will use it against you if they find out you fucking with somebody else. Be aware in the next seven days. 
I see both, I mean, shit, both of them got a reason to be mad at you if you're just putting up, you know what I'm saying, a front for your friends and you're cheating on your girl. But not to be, like, exposing your personal shit like this. Like, uh, you know, it seemed kind of below the belt, they said. It's below the belt. We got this man. What the fuck? Uh, I could have just reposted the fucking video from the last seven days and went and ate my fillet mignon. Shit. What the fuck is going on here? Anyway. <laughs> who would get a, a bucket of horse jizz dumped on them for the least amount of money i'm telling you divine man this is you or somebody else man somebody is threatening to release they keep saying unsavory wasn't that y'all's word last seven days some unsavory information this is you or somebody else this shit is out here uh who would get a bucket of horse jizz dumped on them for the least amount of, it's some freaks out here divine and i ain't mad at y'all being well the horse jizz that's a lot that 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 no I ain't mad at the freaky shit out here, Divine Masculine, uh, for whatever you do in your bedroom and shit is what you like or whatever. That's your business. I got a problem with somebody putting your business out on the fucking street, though. What you do in your bedroom is, like I said, I mean, shit is what you, whatever you like. It's whatever you like. But it looks like you get, need to get some more trustworthy people here. Because I'm trying to figure out how this motherfucker got access to the shit. Unless this is the person involved in it with you. But then, I mean, shit. So they're just as, I don't know, man. Just be careful, man. I feel like it's people out here you thought you could trust that you can't. Be aware in the next seven days. Be aware, Divine Masculine, these people, that was their, uh, what, uh, Denzel tell old boy Ethan Hawking train today? He said, you've been planning this all day. He said, I've been planning it all week or all month or whatever the fuck he said. Most likely to make a sex tape and not even tell them <coughs> they being filmed. He like, when I approached you and said, hey, allow me to introduce myself, bitch, the plan was in motion. Divine Masculine, be aware there may be somebody looking at you for the wrong reasons, or this is you looking at someone for the wrong reasons. Uh, so like I said before, I don't know why the emperor would want to go to the rich girl when the emperor should already be rich in whatever the fuck it is, but <coughs> maybe it's just strictly financial. Uh, is what you're rich in, divine masculine. Uh, and the rich girl has is rich in something else here. So this could be you. Like, I already knew what I wanted from this person. It may not necessarily be bad as far as that, but it could be... Uh, a mo you could be in a... Shit, well, they said, no, this could be an energy vampire. So it's like you don't need no pinnacles from this person. You just need attention or some shit. Uh, so somebody is looking at somebody like, I know I could get all the love and this person will let me just unload on them. And all. I don't know about the horse jizz and stuff, but you know what I mean as far as unload on them and shit. Uh, so be aware somebody's looking uh, at somebody to like drain them energetically or like, uh, or this you. Like to get some squeeze every, like, I don't know. Uh, you are the last dragon. You possess the power of the glow. Yeah, that's what they want, Bruce Leroy. The, they want the glow. Show sure enough. Yeah, they do. Just walk in your pizza to Papa Green's Pizza. Um, I don't know. Put one on the sealed card with the nine of wands. Sealed cookies. Cookies and shit. Who's experienced the biggest age difference with a sexual partner? Look at this here with these two menses. I ain't fucking crazy shit. Hold on, y'all. One second. I got to look at something. I'm sorry. My bad. I had to look at something. None of your business, but I had to look. Anyway, uh, yeah, something with these two menses and how they get down, Okay. Uh, some of y'all divine masculine. I don't know why this reading is so, uh, I don't know, G. I feel like some of y'all, a kid sees you real shit. Watch your moves, divine masculine. I don't know what's going on. Uh, for some of y'all, a kid comes in your office and finds some shit or a woman, somebody go snooping, be aware, or this is you. Uh, and they find some shit and they threaten to, uh, expose this shit. But who's experienced the biggest age, uh, difference with a sexual partner? These two men's is half shit. These two motherfucking men's is half. So maybe that's why this woman get this shit in court or there's something that's not 
Clinton, the milk divine masculine that you do not want to come out, G, period, point blank, or this is someone else in regards to you. But this shit ain't changing from the last seven days. Yeah, look what's at the bottom of the damn deck, damn it. Okay? Mm -mm. I said, I feel like somebody got a beard here, okay? Hmm. Okay. That's what this is. Be aware, Divine Masculine, if this is not you, be aware that you may find out one of your close people, or your friends or some shit, uh, they gay. Uh, you are not gay, my brother's gay. I don't know. Be aware of one of your friends trying to hit on you and shit. Uh, I don't know. Here. I don't, I ain't really feeling your reading, G. Uh, this one hell of an episode of MASH, though. I put, I give you that. But, uh, it's still the same shit, shit. They in the fucking Vietnam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, they work in the damn, uh, medical part. You know what I'm saying? The sick people there. It's a different medical issue. Some shit. Mm, go in the military. I don't know. Never liked it. Does that shit even still come on? I had a MASH t-shirt, though. I used to love that shit because it was fit kind of tight a little bit. And it just said MASH across the, the chest. Yeah. They like the way that lamb is going across my shirt. Yeah. Shout out to Gwen. Anyway. <laughs> One on the uh, is shady. Ace of Cups would most likely to tape their partner having sex and not tell them they being filmed. Mm -hmm. That this Joni Mitchell. Joan Baez, one of the damn Joan shit. Uh, yeah. Joan fucking Collins, I don't fucking know. Joan Baez and shit. But this is my I'm focused man card too. This is also like a, this something being shown to you with the turquoise on her neck. It's like you tapped in divine masculine. So uh, be aware you're going to be able to feel the energy from whoever the fuck is on some shady shit. You could feel it. This Ace of Cups could just be your intuition, like the energy. You could feel that shit in your heart and shit. Maybe your heart start beating fast or something. Uh, something ain't right when uh, they introduce themselves or reintroduce themselves. Uh, it feel different. I feel like you're more awakened whenever this represents itself. Be aware in the next seven days. Uh, a lot of y'all, some money exchange, somebody asking for money. They only come around for money. Or this you and somebody pick up on it. Like, man, come on. Somebody also tells somebody that they owe them money. Like, that motherfucker owe me 50 racks. And, like, put the shit all out. Like, somebody exposes somebody, man, that uh, this shit is wrong. <laughs> Whatever the fuck this is here. Uh, it feels like they keep saying below the belt. Like these people knew, you know what I'm saying? You know how, uh, what the Bible says, how Adam and Eve felt once they bit the apple, they knew they were naked. They had to go make leaves, dresses and, and trousers and shit. Basically it's what it has said. It kind of feels like that. Like, uh, somebody bit the forbidden fruit and this is the consequence. So I feel like this is something you did divine masculine or someone else did, but I feel like you didn't know that, uh, God was just looking in the garden the whole time or some old crazy. Yeah, basically. Yeah. What a serpent. I know he out ya. Yeah, there he is. Slithering. Mm -hmm. Put one on the damn uh, dirty laundry. The lovers and the horse jizz. I saw Michael earlier. They told him we ain't got this in a long ass time. Yeah. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -bum. Hey, to cheat you and to beat you. You know what, uh, when I was asking them, when I was shuffling before I got ready for your reading, because I used these in the, inner, in the beginning, right? I don't usually use these, but I did. And I was asking, like, kind of meditating when I saw him shuffling the deck. I'm like, damn, Mike, I ain't got you in a long time. Uh, literally, I don't know if it was necessarily him or my guys, but they say he don't like the way I be talking shit sometimes. Real shit. He was a soft-hearted man and shit. It makes sense, though. Like, Mike probably couldn't have put up with my mouth and shit. Like, you know, like... I don't like the when you say pussy. You know, things like that. Shit, motherfucker, I don't like sleeping in the bed with kids, Mike, okay? So shit, shit you don't like about me, shit, I, you, I don't like about you, okay? Uh, don't assume, motherfucker, because I will too. But it be shit like that why he don't come out, probably because of what I just said. But anyway, yeah, it's probably my guys that told me that shit. This is probably what this mean. Like, um, you just putting Mike shit all out there, none. Like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I know, I'm sorry, Mike. Anyway. 
be aware somebody moonwalking all over your motherfucking ass at Divine Masculine. Or you moonwalking all over somebody else. This somebody getting walked over, G. King of Cups. Like, emotionally, though. Uh, be aware, Divine Masculine, of somebody. This is you or somebody else willing to do anything, dude. Like, just to be with you. It feels disgusting, man. It does. King of Cups with who would get a bucket of horse jizz dumped on them for you. At least I don't even feel like you paid it for the least amount of money. So I don't even know if you're giving them anything. OK, uh, be aware. You won't. Uh, I mean, it's your life. It is. G. You, I guess you got the juice now and she ski skeet and skirt skirt and whatever. But this sounds disgusting. I feel like a first, not last when we all hit the ass. Yeah, I don't know. Be aware. You may have found your new love and you done did all this moonwalking on extra people and all this other shit. And you went right into your new love and you like, ain't this a bitch? Look how she looking like I never thought that really, that person really exists. And maybe this is already out there about you. May I have a feeling, be aware, divine masculine, that uh, the person you may want to be with may know these things about you. And you may not know that they know these things about you. Why would they say anything? It's already out there. What the fuck is there to say and shit? Uh, I know it like the fuck everybody else do. You got a bucket of horse jizz dumped on you for the least amount of money. Is what they had said. Uh, mm, that how you get your baby hair all slit? Uh, who is this? Somebody, Divine Masculine, I'm cool. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like somebody has a video of someone or pictures of someone. Or somebody just put, I don't know, man. I don't even want to talk about this no more. Moving on. It's not good. Okay? It's not. They said Michael's milk. Yeah, no. Oh, man, come on. That's why he already mad at me. Oh, my gosh. Y'all serious? <sighs> Put one on the seal cookies and shit. Nine of Wands with the sexual difference, age, whatever, so we can get out this sexy. <clears throat> Look, and then Whitney mouth open. And uh, Okay, so shit, somebody got uh, some information about somebody smoking crack. Uh, shit, crack is whack. But they got a picture, a video of somebody doing it. Or they know. Or that Coke or something, that powder, that Lindsay, something. So, okay, so if it's not this sexual shit, thank you, <laughs> right? Number one, thank you. Because I'm like, this coming out too strong for this to, like, be some whatever. Or are you in a compromising situation with somebody, Divine Masculine? If it ain't another man, some woman wants to tell. It's the same shit, man. Ma na, 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 na. Ma member Mash. Shit. Uh, it, it's all mush. It's just all the running together from last seven days. Anyway. Yes, Divine Masculine. Whitney Houston. Uh, somebody on that shit. That could be what's coming out about someone as well. Uh, somebody has some footage or proof that somebody on drugs or some shit. They willing to put that out. Uh, a kid could possibly see. I'm also seeing like some kids see their parents or you or somebody else like like do something. And that's how it gets out as well. Like they tell another person and then that person blackmails it. This shit is a uh, messy Jesse. Eight of cups. This is somebody that's like, if I walk away, I will sing like a motherfucking Whitney Houston in this bitch. It's like, be aware, G. This feel like straight blackmail, G. Or it's a young, uh, you might have been, I don't know. Somebody's threatening to put something out about somebody dealing with somebody underage. Like you could have been grown, grown. And they, I told, man, I told Divine Femme that her daughter was hanging out with somebody that was old as fuck with a butter mouth. I don't know if this you or not. Emperor don't usually have butter mouth, but I'm just, that's what they had just said again. So I don't know. Be careful of uh, youngins and shit, Divine Masculine. Real shit. Uh, I'm being told real shit. Some of y'all, uh, whoever's uh, with these underage girls, maybe you don't know they are. These little girls, virgins and shit. Uh, they cookies is sealed, G. And here go they daddy. They two of them? I don't know what they do. The mama and the daddy come out with swords, machetes. Be aware. Somebody parents going, don't you know that I'm loco? Nah, ma'am, I did not. I thought she was 18. She could go loco by herself. Nah, she can't go loco by herself. Uh, -uh. uh Be aware, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. The hell y'all got going on here? 
be aware. I do see somebody that you would like to exchange good energy, good times, good laughs, good everything with. But I feel like there's some things that you got to clean up in your life. And I also feel like be aware uh, there's some. Oh, OK. So this could be what it is. Maybe I don't know. You're trying to go somewhere else to somewhere else to someone else move or something like that or just change, leave. And uh, someone's threatening to tell your new person some. They keep saying unsavory. You motherfuckers sound like some seasoning. Like, what is going on? Richard Dreyfuss was out here being dull as fuck. So I don't know. Uh, something that'll spice it up, I heard. But I don't know what the fuck y'all was doing. This shit sounds sexual, G. Real shit. It does. With these wands and these lovers and this Ace of Cups out here. And, and Michael's milk and uh, Whitney, a mouth open. And... She looking up like, I mean, it looked like this woman on her knees. Even though we don't see anybody's bottom, you can tell Mike is standing. Look, you can tell he's standing up. You can even tell Whitney's standing up, right? Because she's singing. This woman looked like she on her motherfucking knees, G. Come on, man. Be aware of somebody coming back to uh top you off. I don't know if they film it. I don't Look, be aware, man. Let's move on. I, I can't, buddy. I can't. Uh, I hope it ain't no children in here. Look. She's like, hey, none. Little boy, get your ass out of here. This seal. 18 and older, get your... I mean, it's too late now. Shit. Uh, but damn. Mm -hmm. It sound like some young shit. Uh, don't let your daddy find out, emperor, with the page of matter. Don't make me call your daddy. Who the fuck is you? It's some little kid in here. Get your raggedy ass out of here, kid. Uh, ain't you supposed to be playing violent video games, killing people online and shit? Ain't that what y'all do at this age and shit? I say that just to say, I mean, they're going to be involved in some fuck shit if it's here or not. Real shit. Anyway. So, I mean, damn. What's, what's, I mean, shit. At least he learning here. Look, when I split the day. At least a little motherfucker learning here and shit. Doing arts and crafts at our school. This is a really good school, kid. You just on the wrong side, buddy. Shit. Said the nursery down the fucking alley. <laughs> shit. Same rules apply to your young motherfucking ass in the beginning. Shit. Get your ass. Anyway, Auntie Frosty love you. Outcome in the next seven days. Look, came out anyway. Three of Swords, Divine Masculine. That's cutting some shit out. Feel like you get out your head about something. So this is restriction, discipline is what came out. Shit, this is me chastising that little badass kid I just told to get the fuck up out the convent. Look. Listen, kid. Give me another one. Impulsive ass. Mm -hmm. This is like the fool. This is like the impulsive fool that just does stupid shit. Divine masculine. I feel like you uh, restrict yourself from doing something dumb. Uh, real shit. Or you stop someone else from doing something dumb. You, uh, it gets cut out. I don't know if this is permanent or temporary, but it looks like something is halted. Now, this was always halted. Whatever this was that somebody was threatening to do, uh, take your money, take your home, tell your new girl something, expose something, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, this was already stopped before because you stayed in it. I feel like uh, as long as you keep giving to the situation, that's what it's like. You keep feeding the dog. Uh, so this looks like you stop feeding the dog. I don't know what's going to happen, though. We'll see. Your intuition is telling you to brush and just take that L, though, whatever this is. So it can't be that bad. Uh, maybe they just, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if it's that, I don't know how, what your life is, okay? But I personally, I mean, it's just me. I don't personally want somebody that don't, that's tampered with men and been with men. That's just a nun and shit. Ain't nothing against them. That's just, I don't want that shit. You know what I mean? I don't. I feel like somebody else do. So that would be a deal breaker for the nun. I'm going to keep it so 100 with you and whoever the fuck listening. Real shit. But for somebody else, that is not. Uh, so they still deal with this person. It's something like that. So that's not a deal breaker for everybody. That's not even what I'm, I was saying all that to say. Whatever this is that comes out, I feel like wherever you're supposed to be and supposed to have divine masculine, you will have it. What you're not supposed to have and where you're not supposed to be. If this happens to come out or whatever the fuck you lose something then you wasn't supposed to be there anyway, no matter what side of the table you sit on to me. Uh, so, shit. If that's the case, it wouldn't be no fucking secret then. You'd just be like, shit, I, I'm, I like both, bitch. Shit, basically. 
Like, well, shit, let's just be friends. You know what I mean? Let's give me a choice, motherfucker. Yeah, ten of swords. Uh, don't nobody got to die over this shit now. Uh, this is this type of shit. Divine masculine, something gets halted here. Okay? It gets stopped. Dead in its tracks is what I heard. Uh, I'm going to have to keep clarifying this. But it is, I feel like it's some broad, some females, uh, women involved in this in regards to exposing this or crazy shit is, that's why I said whatever, I, they're telling me like whatever this is, is true, uh, but you did it or this person did it. It's almost like it is true though. It's almost like it's just not, it doesn't put someone in a good light is what they're saying. But it's very fucking true. Damn. Okay, one on the restriction card. Shit, I'm intrigued a little bit. Shit, uh, this must be like when they redid Full House and it's like Fuller House. This must be like Masher Mash or some shit. I don't know. Because this didn't happen. Oh, no, the man was dressed up like the woman. In MASH. Remember they had the, uh, but he did that because he wanted to go home is what they had said. Remember he tried to play crazy and dress up like the woman and shit. I don't know what the fuck they talking about in your reading. This, this ain't for everybody. Some of y'all done resonated with divine feminine, probably divine masculine. I have a feeling. I don't know who this for. Queen of Cups. Maybe. Shit. Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh, Lord have mercy. You stop this woman. You restrict her. I don't know what how you stop her, G. I ain't trying to dig all up. I was at home watching Little Women Atlanta. <laughs> it's what I've been. Uh, that's my story, Morning Glory shit. That's where I was. Um, I don't know how you stop this shit. Whatever it is, it gets stopped, and you do it. You got the Emperor here with the Page of Swords. Now you got the Ten of Swords here with the Three of Swords here. This is you. You put some shit to rest, G. Oh, shit. I don't want... Look. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I do. So I'm going to move on now. We'll put something on the food. Now, for those where that don't apply, whoever uh, picked up what I was throwing down and didn't really have to say the shit, right? Uh, somehow you just stop this... Someone's emotional uh, manipulation is what I'm feel like, feeling like as well. You put an end to that shit. Feels like uh, some woman, yeah, emotional manipulation. And maybe be aware that they switch from emotional manipulation to some, some form of, uh, excuse me, some form of like exposure or embarrassment or some shit when they can't manipulate you with their emotions. That's what you need to know, John. Put one on the phone. Two of wands. Yeah, Divine Masculine. This is, ooh, no, you didn't, boy. This is my putting in work card. This hard labor. Ooh, I can't say too much in this motherfucking reading, Divine Masculine. Real shit. I don't know why they even telling me all this. Uh, let's just say, who can I run to? Yeah, that's what they said. And I leave it like that. Okay. You make some decisions, Divine Masculine, to uh, follow your intuition uh, and kind of turn your emotions off and handle some shit, G. Or this is somebody else in the next seven days. Purge is here. Uh, so, yeah, something definitely gets purged. It gets stopped. Real shit. Ooh, okay. Mm-mm. Look, when I pick that motherfucker up, exactly, Joe. I, mm, mm, mm. And y'all know I be like in the talking shit. I can't even say the shit they telling me, G. I can't. Shit, I was at home watching. Look, y'all know the drill. Let me stop saying it for y'all steal my line and shit. And I be like, oh, oh, oh all thousands of y'all was watching the same. It was a real good episode. It was when the lady had died. Shit, don't, don't get to questioning me now. Uh, three of swords, ten of swords, shit. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody just stopped talking. Message, message. Uh, that's number one. 
Number two, uh, this message with the Ten of Swords is God's authoritative thumb. So a lot of y'all, he's telling you to put it into some shit, to cut something out, divine masculine. Or he's telling you that something's being handled for you or you don't have to worry about it. The emperor does get a message here with the oracle uh, deck. The emperor or with the oracle card, excuse me, does get a message here. So this is you also coming up as the rich girl as well, divine masculine with the king of wands. I feel like some of y'all come into some money or something to be able to move or make a move or something like that. Or you guys make a decision to end something so you can make a move, G, period. Talking to somebody, dealing with somebody, but you restrict this queen of cups. Let me see how the hell you, let me see. Yeah, look who at the, Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Woo. So you dealing with earth, huh? what happens on earth stays on earth. Yeah, so you dealing with some earthly shit too. Uh, that's what Divine Mask, I mean, Feminine had, and she got a God's authoritative thumbs. I'm telling you. Y'all at least get one card or more. How is he restricting this woman? Aw, oh, shit. We keep getting put in work. I don't know what this means, okay? This also figuring some shit out, but this figuring out how to stop a motherfucker, uh, restrain them, discipline them, mm -hmm. or shit, Divine Masculine, uh, I know we're out to be aware, but shit, be aware some woman either does this to you they figure out a way how to stop you uh, from speaking, talking, working, doing something, uh, coming up, or you do this, G. I kind of feel like you do this because the emperor is over here with the purge. I feel like you the one. Ask your daughter how we peck. Here go the little girl right here, the emperor. Ask your daughter. That's what this has said, <laughs> basically. Some of y'all put in a letter of resignation or someone else does because uh, you pissed them off or they can't have their way or some shit. You don't give a fuck. Look. And shit. Bye, bitch. Purge. Shit. Put your motherfucking uh, face paint on, bitch, and purge or whatever the fuck you do on this day. Uh, bitch, you was a clown anyway. Uh, basically, now they're using all the purge references for this person. I don't know. Somebody quitting. You don't give a fuck. Man. Basically. Or whoever this is that you're leaving, not talking to. It's something like you can't. Like it says, spit it out. Maybe you just really say how you feel or or you put something out yourself or you. Uh, that's why I said if there is a divine feminine or someone that you really want to be with that was coming up in as that in that lover section with the airing out dirty laundry. Right. You would already uh, have told whoever this is you want. Uh, all the shit that this Tatiana thinks that they're going to expose you with. So like, bitch, I hope you know he ain't got no motherfucking money. I mean, if you want somebody like that, Divine Masculine, you'd be like, well, shit, bitch, I know. Or I hope you know he go both ways, right? Two of wands and shit. I'm hoping he would tell you this, but I'm feeling like whatever this is, Divine Masculine, uh, that someone is trying to use against you to keep you from going somewhere else, you're willing to divulge this information is what I'm being told. Uh, to put an end to this shit. It's almost like a burden or some shit, G. Mm -hmm. What y'all got going on? Some of y'all make a decision to just leave and just be all out in the world willy-nilly. You ain't talking to your mom or some woman. Like, you just out there, G. Like, what is going on? Uh, and if you do answer a message, you smart, you got a smart ass mouth or somebody else does. Like they just say some real fucked up shit. Like you didn't want me here anyway, ass. And like some shit like that. Like, why do you care? I'm out here in the pendant, like some old shit like that. Like, well, shit, cool, bitch. Uh, you right. Why do I care? Click. Ten of swords with the message. You got it. It's got a thorn of th thumbs. He told you not to call anyway. Uh, you was just figuring maybe I show a little love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when you were supposed to restrain yourself, have some discipline, but some of y'all make some mistake, divine masculine. It's funny because I feel like you, you're trying to do the right thing by whoever this is, even though they're manipulating you, but it's almost like you got a heart and shit. Is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up type shit, right? And I feel like this person is still fire back at your ass and shit. It's like you trying to hand them some food to feed them and they knock the plate out your hand and shit, but they the hungry ones and shit. You're like, well, shit, bitch, I ate. It's almost like this type of energy. I don't know. It's something weird. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I guess it was mashed potatoes. I don't fucking know something with mash. Uh, that used to be a word we used for like dip out. Like I'm about to mash. 
I ain't never really use it because it just sounds like the monster mash. They did the mash. I don't know. I smoke some weed tonight. But that's maybe mm -hmm. somebody scary. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But that's why I didn't never say the word mash because it sounds like mashed potatoes are monster mash. Like, nah, that's kind of whack. I'll just leave. How about that? <laughs> Shit, I'll just leave. Um, yeah. So maybe that's what it is. Somebody mashes. Uh, maybe that's the dance they still do. The mashed potato. Somebody outdated than the motherfucker here. Maybe this is your life. Is your life like the mashed potato dance? <laughs> I'm sorry, divine masculine, but that's kind of, it's boring. It's like them showing us this over and over and over. Like what else can I do but try to add some commentary? I mean, damn. Anyway, yeah, it's like when you sit and think about it, concern, yeah, I am, buddy. Two of Wands, outcome. Uh, you don't want to make any impulsive decisions, like I said, Divine Masculine, with the impulsive jumping in the shit card real quick. Uh, you want to think before you move, which you do. Uh, you're very strategic on how to stop this person, or this person is very strategic on how to stop you from taking something, doing something that could ruin something for them in the future. This is you or somebody else. I feel like it gets taken care of. Real shit. You figure something out. It said, did the shit not fucking say that you had an ally? It's something about somebody that you know, Divine Masculine, or you have people in high places like Jesus' niece. Where's that shit? <laughs> Make the necessary preparation by telling a close ally. Boom. It's you. Making necessary preparation. Thinking. Two of wands. Telling a close ally. Uh, maybe this queen of cups is somebody that you can trust too. Not saying this is the other, this is the person you're stopping, but yes, in another scenario, this could be the ally. The one that you know will restrain themselves. They discipline. They can hold on to the information and shit. Uh, it doesn't get out. I don't know how they help you or some shit like that, but... Shit, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of far-fetched, but, I mean, shit, they pointed it out. That could be the ally, but I don't feel like it is. I feel like that's the person you're trying to stop. Because it doesn't go into ally likeness <laughs> with the Ten of Swords and God's authoritative thumb. Maybe that is the ally. Boom, right? God is the ally. This is my God's glory card here, Two of Wands. So you guys are looking for some uh, advice, some guidance from the Most High before you do something crazy, G. I'm telling you, the shit they were showing me, man, I couldn't even speak on that bullshit, man. I couldn't. Uh, so you guys are thinking of other ways to handle these situations without being irrational and erratic, they said. And in your bag and emotions like divine, that's the same shit divine feminine had. Y'all are uh, facing the same issue right now uh, as far as uh, it's just in different scenarios. Yours is keeping you stuck somewhere. Uh, divine feminines, they are trying to keep her stuck somewhere by getting her in her bag. You're already stuck because they got you in your bag and you're trying to get out. She already out. They trying to get her back in. It's kind of different, but it's the same thing, same thing, same thing, basically. Some of y'all going to be trying to figure out what some woman is. How does she keep stopping you? How does she keep finding something out? She got an ally, G. Some of y'all need to stop talking to everybody around you. Cut communication with everybody till you figure this shit out. Because I feel like uh, you don't know who you can trust for some reason. That's what I'm getting here, Divine Masculine. Like, there's trust issues amongst your crew. Uh, I feel like, I don't know. It seems like you can only trust your child at this point is what it's telling me. Or some kid or some shit. Nah, I mean, if that's the case, damn. You know what I mean? Kids got the biggest mouths ever. And if the kid is uh, the only one you can trust, shit. Some of y'all in some relationship and try to figure out what's next. You just don't want to jump into another relationship, jump into another job, jump into another big per. It's something you uh, get out of divine masculine eventually. And you are very cautious about your next move, G. Real shit in the next seven days. You definitely don't want to get mixed up in the same shit you were just mixed up in. I definitely see that. 
I'm telling you, it's a mash repeat. It is. It's it's not good, my friend. Put some on this three of swords, ten of swords message. Chick and block. Yeah, you blocked this chick. I told you. I told you. Yeah, my Amy Winehouse voice. It's the same shit. Ten of swords with the message. Uh, somebody don't get to talk no more or... You stop them, you cut them off, there's something going on, or somebody do this to you. But I feel like this is you doing this to somebody, G. Some woman gets blocked here. There's also some woman cock blocking, some chick cock blocking, trying to stop you from talking to somebody. You figure this out. Uh, or you've already figured this out and you're trying to figure out how to reapproach or readdress some situation that uh, this person tried to get you out of. So it could have been a business deal. You're like, this bitch was straight. What? Like, no, that's not true. You got to just backtrack kind of uh, and clean up something is what they're making me feel like. Yeah, you definitely rock. Then that's got shag. Yeah, yeah you like the trash man. So, yeah, you got to clean up all this trash before you leave uh, is what they're saying, basically. Cleaning up the trash is like blocking people, getting rid of purging, my man. Shit, throwing up the W. Shit, basically, King of Wands, I'm out. Okay? Woman of Restriction, Toil and Labor, Queen of Cups. You got the star and the Ace of Cups here. So this will be healing a love situation. This is also like healing your heart. But this is restriction here. Discipline. Uh, bitch, you figure it out. <laughs> Queen of Cups with the figure it out card. I feel like if this restriction wasn't here, I'd be like, you working with somebody, Divine Masculine, trying to heal their heart or something like that and help them through some shit. You done with that shit, G. Or this person's done with that shit in regards to you. They're no longer putting in any more effort. They're blocking someone like, fuck of this. Fuck of this. I don't know. Somebody may be like, we can still be friends. Somebody like, I think the fuck not, bitch, not till you get some help. Or somebody feel this way about you, G. Uh, I pick up the green trash, bitch. Recycle a bullshit. I don't pick up waste. Ooh, the wine mask. What do you mean? That's what they had said, though. Ooh. Some of y'all trying to get into some industry. A friend, a friend is trying to get in the industry, the same industry as you. They uh, are talking down on your name, G. They are. You need to stop telling this motherfucker shit. Divine masculine or feminine. It's somebody that you could uh, bounce ideas off with and shit. Or you think this person like, yeah, we're going to go in this together. They already know you better than them, G. I mean, not to be rude, but that's what this is. Uh, stop telling them shit. They're going to use your shit or try to compete against you or tell everybody you ain't shit. Your mom ain't shit. Your daughter, all that shit, man. Uh, something you're going to have to go out alone, divine masculine. Into this cold, cold world and leave people... In the past, in the past. Look at the man behind him. Shit. Uh, maybe that scares you a little bit. Like, but who's out there, sensei? You the emperor. Shit. Whoever you the fuck you want to be out there, emperor. You command that shit now. Uh, now? Shit. You just got the trash man outfit on. You ain't really the trash man. Don't take it literal. Uh, you ain't even picking up trash no more. You getting rid of trash. You dump it in the landfill. Okay? You're not the creator of trash. Basically, if you know what I'm saying here. Yeah, somebody uh, gets blocked. Social media, message, talking. Uh, you may find out some betrayal about some betrayal. Someone close to you that you love, Divine Masculine. This You will not be able to work out with this person. At all. It's something to do with your money or... Your home, stability, something like that. You know when they fuck with your money is when you get wild and shit. Anything else, y'all be like, well, shit, let them have it, you know? Uh, which I never did really understand. It must be a man thing, but okay. Adam's apple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to do this shit by yourself with the God's glory for sure. So this is you, Divine Masculine, making great decisions, though. This is you thinking before dipping out, but you are trying to figure out who to keep and who to, throw, who to throw away is what they're saying. Who's discardable and who is biodegradable. I don't know why they keep referring to these people as trash, but that's what they are doing. 
uh, lucky number seven, uh, I feel like you can't really lose divine masculine. You already are. Uh, I mean, you can, but it's almost like you've lost already. So you figured that out. It's almost like a, even if you got rid of everybody, it wouldn't be a bad thing. You know what I mean? Eventually, who's supposed to be gone will be gone and who's supposed to be there will be there. It's almost like uh, you kind of stepped in this energy. Crazy shit is that you do do it alone, though. So I feel like you kind of tell everybody to get the fuck on for they get spit the fuck on. Real shit. Just because you embark on some journey. And you are covered, G. Real shit. This is the light. I told you, Bruce Leroy, when you got that glow. Ow! Yes, Bruce Leroy. Some of y'all are going to stop talking to some women, your mom, some sisters, uh... It's feminine energy here. Some of y'all are going to get rid of some women friends. Especially if you're in the entertainment industry. Uh, I don't know why that would be specific, but that's why they said, that's what they said. If you're in the entertainment industry, uh, and not necessarily you are front center stage, but you could work in, like you could just have perks and shit. Like, nah, bitch, I get tickets and get to go everywhere. And that's why you've got friends, because you get to go everywhere. Some of y'all are going to stop hanging out with these people, because it's almost like, if I didn't have this shit, would these motherfuckers kick it? No. Uh, they wouldn't even talk to you, is what the fuck it say. It's just because you on like some pedestal or some soap bar or something like that. Divine masculine or divine feminine, whoever. Some of y'all are uh, cutting people out because you see they just want something from you, G. It's not, they're not really there for you. It's just because you're the emperor, which is real fucked up. But more money, more problems. Hello, biggie. Uh, yeah. So you just got to be real careful with your moves, Bishop, in regards to this money, this empire, and all this other shit. This rich girl, I feel like, is you. I do feel like you run into a rich girl, possibly, and whatever she's rich in, I don't know. But King of Wands, I feel like you run into this woman. But this is after all this other shit, because here go the two of wands. So after you uh, take out all the trash, right, right? The king of wands, because then you have purged everything over here with this oracle. The king of wands, the two of wands, three of wands, whatever you waiting on. Rich girl, emperor status, whatever the fuck, it comes. You manifesting this shit. You just can't manifest it with a whole fucking, huh, look what's at the bottom of the deck. With that, shit, with that, mangy pussy car, basically. You can, dude. Divine masculine outcome in the next seven days. You're realizing just how uh, important it is to really have high vibing people around you uh, really at all times if you can um, in order to get the things in life that it's almost like birds of a feather flock together. Real shit. They do. Uh, but you got to make sure they all the same bird, not bird bitches, because it's almost like you, you guys have a lot of people attached to you for what you can do for them. And it's like you want to be a part of a organization where everybody's got empire. It's like just, you know what I'm saying? You can't touch the shit uh, at all. It's almost like everybody is an emperor. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is an emperor. It's like there is no one lower than the other. They said Game of Thrones. I never watched that shit, but I'm assuming everybody got some rank up in the shit because that's how they're telling me. Like everybody is somebody. Uh, so I feel like you're getting rid of nobodies <laughs> is basically what they're saying. This is the outcome or somebody feels this way about you. There damn sure could be a chick blocking you here. It is out here with the Ten of Swords, not talking to your ass. Uh, they feel like you need some healing, and so do they. So they're going to discipline themselves, love on themselves, and make a decision to like kind of go out there and see what else is out there. For some of you, this does happen in the next seven days. Somebody uh, fucked over some. Somebody's best friend fucked them over, G. Some of y'all need to watch a best friend. Uh, Bishop is out here, G. We know how he did Q and everybody else uh, in Juice. Some of y'all need to watch your, I told you, your right hand is somebody that's real close to you, male or female. I don't know. Something shady with this person. It feels like a feminine energy. Uh, you're going to find out some fuck shit they did. They're trying to hide it from you. So it could be, like I said, bills, something, uh, something. I'm tired. It's, uh, nah, nah. it's the same episode. Look, next uh, seven. Can y'all have men to move or something? For real. Because if this start uh, going like this next seven days, y'all shit going to be even shorter next quota. I ain't even playing with you, man. For real. Uh, people already be complaining about your readers now and shit. Like, why none? And I'm like, well, they have to learn, guys. They want to know, too. But this shit is like, I mean, y'all get another seven days. You do. And I'm going to see what you do with it. Because, I mean, you came up as the emperor. So you are making plans. But I feel like, damn, you know. 
it's a little slow. Is what I'm saying. But shit, sometimes the trash man skip your whole motherfucking block. You ever came outside like, did the motherfucker not? Is it a holiday? Uh, so maybe shit, you don't know your route yet. I don't know. Anyway, that's been your reading, Divine Masculine. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Masculine getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your fans. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.